Hi everyone, my name is Anil. Uh, welcome to the session on CMDB data model. Uh, so in this session we will see how to build CMDB data model. Right? CMDB data model. So there are a few steps involved in it. We will cover one at a time. The first one is to uh, get the list of CI classes. Uh, because you have CMDB will have a lot of CA classes which are unused and used, uh, you need to know which CA classes has data in them. So the first step is to get the list of CA classes. Uh, the next step is to get the class hierarchy. Right. Uh, so as part of this step, we will know what is the parent class for a given class and what is the uh, child class for a given class or uh, using it interchangeably. Uh, we will find out what is the base class and the extended class, a given class. Uh, then the next step is to find out uh, references between the classes. So a class can reference another class. Uh, so we will uh, identify that and then we will look at uh, related lists in the classes uh, such as task, incident, knowledge or outage uh, and finally we we'll look at uh, relationship types so as part of this uh, five steps we will collect the data we will store that uh, in excel so this will become our basis for the next step so once we have this data ready uh, next step is to identify the tool that we will use to build the model, right? So a tool can be uh, like Visual for example, or it can be a graph uh, ML editor, right? It can be any of them, uh, whichever you are comfortable with building, uh, you can use that. Uh, once this is done, uh, we need to identify uh, a mechanism uh, in terms of how we model the data, right? So, for example, we can come up with a convention to define the classes. Like uh, for database, we can use this convention. Uh, for router, it can be this convention. And for a server, it can be this convention, and so on, right? So, you can use a convention to represent each class. Uh, and then we need to also identify the connections uh, and the convention to be used to differentiate different types of connectors, right? Because you will have connector for reference, connector for related lists, connected for relationship types, uh, and connections for hierarchy. Uh, we need to have a different type of connector, right? Some examples can be you can use a solid line, uh, you can use dot, uh, dash, dot, dash or you can use dashes or you can use dots. So there are some options available. Uh, you can pick up the ones relevant uh, to the type of uh, connection you want to set up and then you can use it. So once we have all those conventions ready, the next step is to start building it. So start with the base class, right? Uh, and then build on top of it. So because we have the hierarchy information available, uh, you can start with the base class and then know the extending class and so on and so forth so we can build on top of that uh, once the hierarchy is built next step is to uh, associate those or connect these classes with uh, references related lists relationship types based on the, the connection uh, convention we have chosen so that completes building the model uh, and the final step is to refine and review so this can be review or refine as well right so the purpose of this step is uh, your CMDB is constantly evolving so if you introduce a new class uh, into the CMDB then you need to uh, refine the data model based on the class um, that is being brought in and how it has all these components on them uh, like the references relationship types and so on Right? And that way you're keeping the data model always up to date. So that is how uh, you can build a CMDB data model.
Thank you for watching. This is Anand.